This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sexiest anime witches. There's so much more that you can do with this thing called magic. You see? Like this, for example. For this list, we'll be looking at the most alluring and bewitching magic-wielding ladies in anime. Some may not be outright called witches, but hey, if the shoe fits. Number 10, Ayaka. Witchcraft work. She's the most popular girl in school and given the accolade of princess by her personal fan club. So it's very easy to see why this lady would be so revered despite her stoic persona. As it turns out, she also happens to be one of the most powerful fire witches in existence and is tasked with protecting the rather meek and unpopular Honoka from danger. <laughs> she may not be one for emotion, but she still looks great whether she's in her uniform or in her lavish spellcaster getup. <laughs> Number 9, Yamraiha, Magi Series. Gather water around me, convert it into steam, refract the light. Those are the three commands that I've given the roof. You have to give Aladdin props, he couldn't ask for a better magical instructor. All you're doing is releasing heat. As magic, it's quite simplistic. One of the eight generals of Sindria who excels in the use of water magic, Yamraiha is a sweet and caring individual who would do anything for her homeland though she's got no love for swordsmen due to her pride in magic being the superior form of combat. Not to mention she seems to have a soft spot for seashell bras, which might have something to do with why Aladdin keeps clinging to her. Cut it out, you dirty little pest! Number 8, Blair, Soul Eater. I'm used to being the one who's doing the tempting. Yes, technically she's a cat with an excessive amount of magical power, but out of all the witches that Maka and company encounter, Blair is by far the most alluring. I'm really just a cat with a ridiculous amount of magical power. She's more than capable of defending herself with her explosive pumpkins and shrink ability. Since she's actually a cat in her original form, Blair is used to being naked around people, making her not timid in the slightest. Number 7, Beatrice. Umineko when they cry. Beautiful, alluring, and with just that extra tint of crazy, Beatrice is someone you don't want to mess with. Legends say that should you offer your soul, she will grant your every wish. And when her mere existence starts to come into question, she's more than happy to appear and make it painfully evident just how real she is, often with rather bloody consequences. <laughs> While there's no doubt she's as enticing as they come, you'd do well to stay in her good graces. Her witchy nature runs so deep, she's even got the laugh down. <laughs> Number 6, Ruby Tojo, Rosario Vampire Series. I would really like to become your friend. If you want. In a school filled with monstrous creatures that more often than not take the form of young ladies, you have this former antagonist. As a witch who originally wanted nothing more than to kill any human she came across, she ends up joining the newspaper club after her defeat. As dress code monitor, I can't allow those outfits! Surprise, surprise, she also joins the ever-increasing harem that wants to get with the series protagonist. With a love of the more, well, taboo forms of affection, she's all too eager to become a plaything for Sukune. Sukune, are you alright? Oh, thank God someone who's not been affected. What would you like me to do to or for you? Number 5, Maria the Virgin Witch. Men of England and France alike, enough blood has been shed today! Lady Maria. As the 100-year war rages on, this young but powerful witch seeks to end the conflict. She roams through France in order to bring peace wherever she can with the help of her magic. If you like, I can give you a titillating account of what happened, blow for blow. <laughs> 
However, Heaven turns out to have a real problem with this, decreeing that if she continues to meddle in human affairs, her magic will be stripped from her, should she lose her virginity. If that's the case, then I'm doomed! I will die an old maid having never known the love of a man! Lady Maria! Her sweet naivete and her endearing hope for peace makes her a step above most traditional witches. A witch of my caliber is far too busy to have a boy- Oof! Kiss, kiss it. Number 4, Ninny and Noel. Burn the witch. They're the baddest witches Reverse London has to offer, and needless to say, they left us spellbound. Charged with protecting and controlling the growing dragon crisis, this pair of pipers are more than equipped to dealing with whatever magical craziness comes their way. <laughs> Ninny's the foul-mouthed Thunderbolt, looking to make a name for herself, while Noelle is the laid-back, knock-me-dead beauty who's all about making that moolah. Put them together, and they're a lethal force we hope to see get their own series one day. Number 3, Merlin, The Seven Deadly Sins The Four Sins! With a name like that, the sin of gluttony's appearance is certain to catch you off guard. She may be lacking a long white beard, there's no doubt she's the most powerful sorceress in all of Britannia, and an aid to both her fellow sins and King Arthur. Then it's time to get a move on. She also happens to not be big on clothes either, leaving very little to the imagination. Known for her playful nature and tendency to experiment with her magic on unwilling participants, it's lucky she's one of the good guys. See, the Borsen Merlin is going to be tagging along, if that's okay with you. Number 2, Ultia, Fairy Tale. Where do you think your future will guide you? A deadly mage in her own right, she's more than proven her strength both as an enemy and ally of the Fairy Tale Guild. When she was aligned with the villainous Zeraph, she showed herself to be a master manipulator and capable of all kinds of atrocities. So many, I doubt I could ever atone for all of them. However, upon finding out the fate of her mother, she turns over a new leaf and works to undo the damage she's done. While this involves her ultimately sacrificing her youth, it's pretty hard to forget about the vast appeal she had beforehand. You need look no further than her choice of outfits when she worked for Grimoire Hearts. We haven't even gotten to the fun part yet. Before we unveil our number one pick, here's some honorable mentions. Welcome to my very private suite, Hiragase Ito. Kono futatsu ga shindeki kyodan no moto ni sorotte ru ってことは before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Vanessa, Black Clover when we first met this rather voluptuous member of the Black Bulls, she painted herself as someone who was happy to spend her days making random majors gape with her choice in wardrobe while drinking herself into a stupor. Enticing, yet not exactly powerful. That is, until we discovered her origins as a daughter of the Queen of Witches, where her magic truly manifested itself in a way none of us were expecting. When you can summon an adorable kitty that can change fate with a mere touch, you're well on your way to Wizard King levels. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. 